In this quick shot, we're going to create a system recovery drive. The drive itself will not be an external hard drive as you might be thinking, but a USB key. This will be a bootable type of key that will allow you to boot into your computer should you have a disaster and are unable to boot into Windows. We'll be discussing this function in more detail in later videos. Let's create the recovery drive. First thing you will need is a blank USB key. It must have a capacity of 2 gigabytes or greater. I don't even think you can get a 2 gigabyte uh, key anymore. Plug that into your computer. Let your computer recognize the uh, key. And now we'll proceed. From the start screen, select Recovery. Actually, you have to type it. But when you go to the uh, search area, select Settings. You'll now see a lot of selections for us to choose from. Select Create Recovery Drive. We have a user account control. As administrator, we have to respond yes. This brings up the Recovery Drive Creation box. There's a checkbox down below that says Copy the Recovery Partition. Please do not check that. This is the default. Select Next. We are now preparing the drive. Now this is critical. If your computer has what's called a solid state hard drive and you have a USB key installed, be careful. Your solid state drive will be listed as a USB drive. We don't want you to select that because it will erase your drive. Instead, select the USB key. You should know where this is before you get to this point. I know ours is labeled USB 1 and it's the drive E. I'm going to select next. Everything on the drive will be erased. This is a notification to let you know. That's why it's important to make sure that if you have an SSD or solid state drive that you select the right one. We're now going to create it. Once the drive has been configured and created, it tells us that the drive is ready. Select Finish, and that's it. We're done. Take the key out. You have to normally eject the key through the software. We'll cover that in a quick shot at a later date as well for, the, for you new users. Basically, it's the same as any other Windows version. Well, that's it.